Mormon temples are often the topic of rumors and misunderstandings. This may be because many haven't heard about what goes on inside. Some of these rumors may make our temple worship seem weird, mysterious, or unchristian. You may have heard stories about strange rituals or be curious about why it all seems so secretive. So here's the truth about what really goes on inside Mormon temples. For members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the temple is a place of worship and spiritual instruction. Anyone is welcome to visit the beautiful temple grounds around the world. After a temple is built, for a short period of time, it's open to the public so they can see what will soon be considered a house of the Lord. After a temple closes to the public, only members of the LDS faith who are keeping the commandments are permitted to enter. In the temple, Mormons learn about the creation of the world, the purpose of our lives on earth, and the role of Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world. We pray together and look forward to returning to God's presence again someday. One of the most unique and cherished doctrines of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ is that we believe that families were meant to be eternal, lasting beyond the grave. Couples can be married for this life and the next through restored priesthood authority, as long as they continue to keep the commitments and the promises made in the temple. Couples unable to receive the blessings of a marriage in the temple will still have the same opportunity if they choose later on in their lives. Mormons believe that baptism is essential to returning to live with our Father in heaven. Still, some people find it surprising that we do baptisms and other work for those who have passed on. This practice was also performed in Christ's church during New Testament times and is referenced by Paul in 1 Corinthians 15, 29. We believe that God loves each of his children equally, regardless of the circumstances they were born into. He wants each of us to receive our own baptism so we can return to live with him. Each individual will be given the chance to accept or reject any work done on their behalf. In the temple, church members make promises with God and consider them to be holy. We don't discuss these ceremonies with others because they represent our commitment to love, serve, and follow God's commandments in faith. Because this commitment is sacred in nature, we show our respect by only discussing temple worship within temple walls. Adult members of the Mormon church who have chosen to enter the temple wear a garment underneath their clothing. The garment is similar in appearance to modern undershirts and shorts that we wear as spiritual protection and help us to always remember the Savior and the promises we made in the temple. Just like religious clothing in other faiths, the garment is an expression of devotion and a way to become closer to God. Mormons also wear white while inside the temple, symbolizing purity and to show we are all equal before the Lord, without any marks of worldly status or wealth. For Mormons, temples are the closest we can come to our loving Heavenly Father, where we can catch a glimpse of what heaven is truly like. We regard temples as a link between heaven and earth, where we can feel at peace, be reminded of the purpose of life, pray, receive answers, and feel close to God. In addition to temples, we attend Sunday services in local chapels, take the sacrament, and learn from the scriptures. We invite everyone to come, whether they're members of our church or not. I'm James the Mormon, and if you know anyone who has questions about temples, please share this video with them. And if you have any suggestions about our next video about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, please comment below.